guys so I made a purchase the other day that is something that I've been waiting to buy for a while and so I thought it would be really good to give a review on it and that is the Real Techniques uh, blending sponge now this is a sponge that is supposed to be a dupe for a beauty blender and I've actually been using a beauty blender for a little over a year now I asked for some for Christmas in 2014 yeah and I got several so they've lasted me quite a long time because each one lasts like three to four months um, so I feel like I can really compare it to this uh, Real Techniques um, brush or no sponge that I've been using I actually love Real Techniques brushes um, I have their blush brush, their like all over powder brush, their stipple brush, a uh, like contouring brush. I have a lot and I love them. But I have to say I was pretty disappointed in this little spongy guy. Now if you're comparing it to just like a normal makeup sponge then it's probably probably pretty good. But compared to the actual beauty blender unfortunately it just does not it just doesn't cut it and I kind of as soon as I got it and I opened it and I felt it, I was like, okay, this is not, this is not a dupe. Um, cause it's way squishier than the beauty blender. Like obviously the beauty blender is a sponge, but this one I could tell that it just felt really different. Like when it was dry, it still felt kind of damp, which grossed me out cause I hadn't even used it yet. And I also noticed on the package, it said you could use it damp or dry. And to me that was a red flag because the Beauty Blender, as you may or may not know, the you can't use it dry. Like it doesn't, or you can, but it's not going to work well. The whole point of the Beauty Blender is you get it damp and it enlarges, and the way it's made, your liquid products can't get into the Beauty Blender when it's damp, so it doesn't soak anything up. And unfortunately, that's where this guy really fails. Um, I can't, you can't really see it on my fingers, but like there's just so much makeup in here and I've only used it maybe like two times since the last time I washed it and it just really soaks up the makeup more than my beauty blender did I also feel like it just doesn't blend as well I don't know if you'll you can tell but I have like a spot on my chin that didn't really like I couldn't really get it to blend nicely and same with up here on my forehead I had some problems I feel like it just doesn't quite cut it compared to the Beauty Blender. Um, now obviously a big benefit of this guy is it's way less expensive. I want to say it's six dollars um, and a regular Beauty Blender is going to run you like 20 bucks but it's going to last you you know three to four months. You can sometimes find them on sale or use coupons or things like that but I also think you have to take into consideration the fact that a, a beauty blender just works better like your skin is gonna look better unfortunately than it will if you use this real techniques one um, but also this guy soaks up so much product like I found that I had to use so much foundation and that can get pricey especially if you're using like a high-end foundation you want to be getting the most product that you can for the money that you spent so I definitely think if you're using like a high-end foundation it is 100% worth it to buy the beauty blender because you're gonna get your money back just in the fact that it's not gonna soak up all that excess product so I'm really sorry to be like the bearer of bad news and I'm so bummed because I've read on so many blogs and stuff that this is a dupe but I just don't think it is I think that the beauty blender is one thing that I probably will continue to buy the more expensive version of and I also use the Beauty Blender for a lot of different products, um, mainly my foundation and my concealer. I also use it sometimes for highlight. And because I use it for so many things, I think that it's worth spending a little bit more. Just doesn't quite hit the mark if you're looking for something that's similar to or a dupe for the Beauty Blender. Now, if you're just wanting a straight up makeup, uh, like foundation uh, sponge, like comparable to the little triangle spongies or something like that then yes this will probably uh, do perfect for you but if you're looking for like the airbrush finish that you can really only get from a beauty blender this guy's not gonna do it so sorry I wish I had better news for you but it is what it is 
Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other like video requests or if you have questions about this that like I forgot to cover or anything like that, definitely let me know in the comments. Or you can find me on social media. I'm Valerie Brennan, literally everywhere. Um, and thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.